I just don't like the reports that I see coming out having to do with football. All right, I've heard it. Everybody's talking about it. Everyone's concerned. Football is dangerous. I mean, it's a dangerous sport. Yeah, it is. Trust me, I know, as, as much as anybody. But we're talking about head injuries here. And everyone's concerned. That's good. And parents are trying to make informed decisions. That's also good. And to do that, you need good information. I thought the equipment would get better, and it has. The helmets have gotten far better, but it hasn't solved the problem. Well, did you know that there's a product that significantly reduces the rate of serious head injury in football specifically? It's on the shelves right behind me. You don't know about it, but you do now. And if you're interested, go to defendyourhead.com and find out more about the Penn State study, for instance. But the biggest problem here is instead of talking about it, instead of politicians getting in front of legislatures, getting the cameras in their face and using it as a platform to get their names out there, let's do something to make it better. And here's an answer. It's time for parents to take charge, get involved, and do something now. You're a mom above all. Four sons, right? Four sons. Four sons. Mm -hmm. Including Zach Ertz, who mm -hmm. has gone on to fame and fortune with the Philadelphia Eagles, but not so for all of the other three, right? right exactly. And one, in fact, had a rough road indeed. Absolutely, with head injuries. Um, so Zach's the oldest, and then my son Shane was a you know, very well-rounded high school athlete as well, and um, had his first terrible concussion playing basketball, um, was actually sedated so they could do testing, oh. um, stayed in ICU for several days, came back, worked his way back into a clean bill of health to basically get taken out in our first home game of a senior season. And he was a college bound player as well. That was so hard, so hard to see, so hard to watch. Um, but we crusaded at that point together to, um, you know, and, and told each other that we were gonna someday work to make football safer, mm. not end it, make it safer. Mm -hmm. Even then in uh, 2012, 2011. So, yeah. And Zach at the time is at Stanford during this period? Yes, he was at Stanford, yep. So it must have been some, some conflict inside you like any mom would feel, right? Yeah. I, I, How about when you sat in the stands and watched him play, or even to this day? Well, to this day, um, I can't, if I'm too close to the, to the field and I can hear the helmets, that awful helmet to helmet sound, right. I, I, it's traumatic for me. Um, I say I watch the games through finger, finger goggles and <laughs> often will say to somebody next to me, like, while well, I'm like this, <laughs> um, did he catch it? You <laughs> know, um, I'm very ready for the big hits that you see coming. Um, it's, it, is, it is terrifying. That's it, Lou. Zachary loves it. You know, he, he told me his, his rookie season that he felt called to play, that it was part of his life. He now, you know, he's, you know, become a beloved part of the community here in Philadelphia. He and his wife started a foundation. He's giving back with his football platform, um, helping young kids that need mentors. So much good can come out of youth sports if we can just have the conversation about making it safer. Mm. And you think ProTech makes a difference? I, I do. I, you know, I, 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 through a mom's lens, I've, you know, read all the studies. I have um, watched all the great videos that you guys have out there. But mostly, I, 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 wa I, I look at the product as an opportunity for moms like me to say, I feel so much better with you out there. And the, the, the boys want to play. They want to represent their, their, their teams. They want to be out there with their friends. Um, we, um, you know, have so many friends who have just said to me, you know, like high school football was the greatest time in your, my life. Um, hmm. Zachary would probably say the same thing, you know, just was the best time in his life to be out there playing with his friends and, you know, winning games that no one thought they could win. And, you know, it was just an amazing thing. And obviously he went on to play college football and is here playing, um, you know, at the highest level. But... I look at his life as, you know, how did this all start? And, you know, how can I help other moms feel comfortable? How about that? When you're at the games, I guess your friends and probably watch with other moms and other wives? Yes. Yeah. Well, my daughter-in-law and, and other, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And um, are they aligned with you in, in terms of supporting the game and, you know, trying to keep it going? 
Um, you know, it's funny. I, so I think at the NFL level, um, this is what our loved ones are doing. You know, they're making a living doing this. Right. And it's, it becomes almost like a larger than life thing to watch, right? So we're not really talking at that level, like, you know, is this a good idea? We're scared a lot of times and, and nervous about injuries, et cetera. But it's more at the high school level where the conversation really starts, you know, is this safe? Do I really want him to play this? You know, do, you know, is there anything better out there that, you know, they can wear? And I think moms really, once they know that this technology is available, are going to flock, you know, to make sure that, um, they they get this on their son's heads and maybe they'll enjoy watching the game and won't watch through finger goggles like I've done you know that's that's the that's the goal uh, with Lisa Ertz here just outside of Philadelphia at the headquarters of defend your head makers of protect the special device that goes over the helmets makes the game safer it's true it's science it's proven there are movements Lisa Chicago comes to mind and to a large degree, your home state, California. California, yeah. Where they're trying to make it illegal yes. to play on certain levels. Yep. What would you say to these moms and these governing bodies and these politicians? Again, I, I just don't think there's been enough conversation about what companies like ours are doing to make the game safe. I think these are like broad stroke decisions being made based on, um, you know, some science that is um, compelling. And certainly scary, but what I don't think we've seen is a good enough effort made by organizations like Protec and others to say, listen, you know, let's just have the conversations before we ban anything, before we make decisions as a government to end something, let's make it safer. For example, you know, we didn't take cars out of the, like off the roads, we made cars safer. Mm. We didn't make, you know, take babies out of cars years ago, we made a car seat, you know, um, the government gets involved and in a lot of cases just makes the product safer, you know, and that's my, my feeling is, okay, we did it here. We did it here. We did it here. Let's do it with football. Let's do it with contact sports. Let's make sure that we understand that it's scary and that there's some data that shows that it's more dangerous to play football than it is to walk down the sidewalk but we can't put our kids in bubble wrap. We can't sit them in front of the television every day. And again, this whole concept that I am spearheading with, you know, this three to six, you know, this, this time is so important. Where are your kids? When you're at work and your kids are out of school, where are they? I want, my, I want to know that my kids are doing something together with their friends that's safe, that's healthy that's, you know, part of their full wellness routine. I just, I, I think that that's where this whole thing starts. What are we gonna do to make it safer? Not to ban it. Will you do that as part of your mission with Protect? I'll do anything. Mm -hmm. This is my passion mission. This is, this is something that I feel that I'm put on the earth to, to do. I feel that, you know, having Zachary as a, you know, um, as a player who has achieved the height of success, um, having my son Shane go through what he went through, but still would have played in a second. Um, you know, I, I'm, I, I will do whatever it takes. I will go to Washington. I will lead marches. I will do whatever it takes. I don't think we are where we need to be in the conversation on the other side. Lots of news, lots of stories, you know, great work done on the part of the people that want to end the game. But I don't think we've done a very good job as a society about, you know, making football safer and really, really attacking it from a different angle. Well, we've talked about this casually. There's two of us, as you know, I have a long career in, yes. in the news and broadcast mm -hmm. radio and, and print to some degree. And I have my own issues with it and, and I'll share them and often this the media has certainly seen politics swings either hard one way or the yes, other very yes. rarely and, it, and you have to go through this painful process for mm -hmm. the pendulum to go from here mm -hmm. to here to get to here yeah. but you've cited some great examples of where we've been able to do that with other safety issues like cars and airplanes yeah. great great comparison 
But th where is the conversation? Where is the support? It's right now. It's way over here. Football, yes. bad, yeah. fearful, yes. scary. Yep. And uh, some of it over here. Uh, if your team happens to be playing in the Super Bowl, football, good. <laughs> but otherwise, <laughs> how do we get it to, get it to here where it's healthy and what you're advocating? Uh, well, and I, I think we just have to have the bigger mouth, or at least as big of a mouth as everybody else does. And and that's where I think we are getting to. I think you know. Protech having me join the leadership team has been such a wonderful opportunity for me to use my big mouth to at least get in the conversation. <laughs> Listen, Lou, it's going to be used somehow. I might as well be used to do some yeah, good, you know? Right. Um, but no, I, I, I think that that's it. I think that we just haven't had um, advocates on the other side. Now we do. It's almost like people are afraid to take football's side. Yeah. I, I like definitely I said, unless your team's so. in the Super Bowl that week, and yeah. in which case you won't hear any discussion about football bad. Well, and listen, it's like I said earlier, I'm not going to go out, I'm not going to attack a grieving mom, I'm not going to attack a grieving yeah, sure. wife. There's a lot of people who have lost kids and, and, and think it is attributed 100% to head injuries. Um, I, I, I feel for those people I understand with my limited ability to understand since I've never been there, but that's why I think I have a unique opportunity to make a difference. NFL player, one son that wasn't able to keep playing, you know, broke his heart. Um, I have another son who had several back injuries or back surgeries in high school, didn't go to school for two years in high school. Um, you know, I've seen it all with sports, but I would come back to every single time, what was the good thing that came out of it? You know, kids that went on to college, kids that now have wonderful jobs, um, kids that are good citizens are, you know, contributing to the health of the world. And also didn't, you know, aside from their injuries, didn't give me the massive heart attacks that mothers have in today's world with drugs and mm. violence and guns and you know, some of the things that they can get into that is really rarely discussed, but should be if we're going to get rid of contact sports and, 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 and that's, you know, that whole activity level from three to six every day, then what? Three to six could become a campaign on its own. Uh, check back with us here at ProTech.